previous video where I spoke on 3D modeling, I figured the video was getting too long, so I decided to end it there. I'm sorry for the abrupt end. So let's talk about um, compositing today. Almost anybody using a 3D modeling software uses a compositing software as well. Before we get into the kinds of compositing software, let's define it for studies who have had it but don't know what it is. A compositing software is um, a combination of visual elements from separate sources into a single image. Most often to create the illusion that all those elements are part of the same scene. I think it would be much more easier to say a compositing software is a software that combines or um, matches CG elements with live shots. There are many softwares out there for compositing, but I'm only going to talk of three or four that are widely used amongst um, freelance compositors and also bigger industries across the world. As you all know, a complete VFX can never be possible for production without compositing. So there is the need to always talk about compositing anytime the subject on 3D modeling pops up. Now enough of all that, the first um, compositing software I would like to talk about is Nuke. Nuke is a node-based compositing tool that has been built for high-end visual effects. The node-based workflow makes it much easier to build far more complicated um, effects in a more efficient style. It also runs Python, so it's possible to highly customize it and fit it into any bigger pipeline of tools and other applications. Nuke was definitely designed to work on a single shot at a time. Trying to edit or create a sequence of shots in Nuke is very painful. Now, Nuke has much more comprehensive set of 3D tools than After Effects and works in high bit and floating point color by default. Because of this, Nuke is the main compositing tool used by all the big visual effect companies across the globe that do um, high-end feature film and TV work. Now, the downside is Nuke does not have great tools for motion graphics. If you want to animate text or vector shape, then After Effects is the way to go. The Foundry Nuke is more of a finishing tool. Nuke plays well with other VFX animation softwares like Maya and Houdini and has lots of scripting hooks for automation. So if you are looking for an industry standard compositing software capable of doing some serious heavy liftings or your main motive is to work in such industries then you can't escape Nuke. Now moving on, let's talk about After Effects. After Effects is generally used among small and big production houses. After Effects is a layer-based compositing software, which is generally used for creating th um, sorry, 2D animation, motion graphics, UI designing. Most people refer to After Effects as a 2.5D software, but I think After Effects can also do some 3D cool stuff with the help of a plugin um, called Element 3D. Maybe I would talk about Element 3D and also add some tutorials on how to use it, all in a separate video, not right now. Even though After Effects is not the best VFX compositing software, it can be used in the creation of mind-blowing visual effects. It's able to create accurate masks and keys, rotoscoping to separate objects from its background, perform motion and camera tracking, and also its ability to add 3D elements to a scene. Because After Effects is a layer-based system, it's really difficult to composite something clean in it, especially if its layers and precoms becomes too many. You just get lost working on your own project. If you are into 2D animation, motion graphics, or compositing, and don't have the huge amount Nuke is requiring, then Adobe's monthly subscription-based license will be great for you to begin with. My next compositing software will be Blackmagic Fusion. Blackmagic Fusion. Now, Blackmagic is taking the industry by storm. Fusion is one of the advanced compositing software a VFX artist can find out there. Now, it's possible to bring feature film quality visual effects and motion graphics to any production with less cost. 
whether you are working on a Hollywood blockbuster, television series, commercial or an independent film, Fusion gives you the power to create photorealistic effects and some great title sequences. Fusion has been used in a lot of Hollywood movies like Doctor Strange, The Hunger Games, Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, yeah that's all I could remember for now. Okay, so Fusion's node-based interface and true 3D workspace lets you composite images upon images creating brilliant effects. Nodes are powerful because they can be connected together in a flowchart style, making it easier to see the entire composition and make changes if need to. Vector painting, animation, rotoscoping, um, particle designing, both 2D and 3D titles. 3D camera tracking and so much more. Now the most interesting thing about Blackmagic Fusion is one, it's part of DaVinci Resolve so you can switch between editing, color, audio, fusion, before export, all in one software. How cool can that be? Secondly, Fusion is free unless you want to integrate some plugin functionality or network render then you would have to pay some amount for studio version. We also have other softwares like Natron, Autodesk Flame, Blender. I feel the need to talk about Autodesk Flame but maybe I would make a dedicated video for it and think of adding tutorials to it later. It's a powerful software that I can't leave out without explaining. Okay so let's step down a little. A question you can't miss asking yourself as a VFX artist is who am I and what do I want to achieve in the production field? I would be honest with you, if you really want to be all round in the industry then you should definitely learn After Effects in addition to whatever software that you know. So if it's Nuke, add After Effects. If it's Fusion, add After Effects. It's a plus to know After Effects in addition to whatever you already know. Yes, it comes at a cost, but it would go a long way to help you in the future. If you are a beginner or let's say somebody who has the money but want to get into video production and don't know which software to use, then my advice um, um, to you would be just focus on what you want to what you want and go straight at it. If it's motion graphics, just hop on After Effects and Cinema 4D. If it's 3D modeling you want, then get a student license or trial based version of that particular software you want. That does 3D modeling so well. Try to see if you are comfortable with it before paying for full time. Getting confused as to which software to use and trying your hands on almost all the software isn't going to help. You might end up not even mastering a single software. Don't forget Blender and Fusion is free, so you have no excuse at this point not to at least start before you get to know one that you're comfortable with. Okay, so yeah, that's it. I'm done. Until my next video, peace out.